Hey, what's up you guys? It's Zach with PC Bros, and I am here with the best repairman ever, Caleb. That's his hands right here. Now I'm gonna go over what we're gonna need to do, or what we will need to repaste a GPU. So first off, we're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. Any will do, you do not need one this fancy. You're going to need some sort of alcohol wipe or wipe to wipe the old paste off. New paste and a toothbrush when you wanna scrape some of the paste that's kind of hard and like caked on there. So Caleb's gonna walk us through the first step. I'm going to narrate what he's doing as he's doing it. We have a 960 here. So this has the four screws on the top. Yours might have a bracket. If so, those usually come off with screws too and then you get to this part. Now, keep this in mind that when you do open up your GPU, usually there's like tape or something here keeping you from doing it. This will void the warranty on some GPUs, but this one's an old one. We just need to repaste it. This will help keep those temps low. So let's go into step one. Step one, we're gonna have to take off these four Phillips screws and get this back plate off. Now these screws do have a little spring on it. Make sure you do not lose any of these. Just put them to the side. So once you get those four screws off, it just comes apart in two different pieces. As you can see, we have residues of the paste left on both halves. We're going to clean that off next. Nice, that really gets in there. Now we have clean GPU ready for the new paste. We just want to put the paste right here on this chip. Now notice you do not want to do too much because it will overflow and make a huge mess on the GPU. So just a little tiny piece size and we can spread it, make sure we're evenly distributing the paste. Oh, look at that technique, this guy's the best right here. With new paste, we are ready to screw this back on carefully, make sure it all lines up. And once you get all four screws on, you should be good to go. And you should be noticing a little bit of a difference, especially if it was an older card, you should be noticing those cooler temperatures. This is a 1060, very common. And this has that back plate on it too. And a couple other curveballs that Caleb and I will show you as we go. So just like the other one, we're gonna take off the four screws. And once you get those screws off, you're going to separate the two halves. Shouldn't require much force. This paste is in worse shape than the last one. So we're going to repeat what we did the last time, taking the alcohol wipe or just a napkin, something like that, and wiping off the paste. Oh. Very crusty. You see all this like hair and stuff in here that just accumulates from over the years. Probably get that stuff out while we're in here. Yeah, this one is in way worse shape than the last one. So these are the thermal pads, which is always good to replace these if you have the material. We don't have the material right now, so we're not gonna worry about those, but these can get pretty nasty over time. As you can see, there's a little bit of hair on the sides and stuff. Um, in an ideal world, we would have some more of that material, but we don't at the moment, so we're just gonna let those be. We're gonna clean as much of the hair and just old dirt that we can. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of lingering around. Yeah, look at all that dust that came off of it. Yeah, nasty. This is why you gotta clean your GPUs. Oh, yeah. Just getting the leftover paste here. Sweet. Now we're going to put it back together, same way as we did last time. Wanna make sure those screw holes line up. Nice clean GPU. Caleb, thank you so much for helping. Looks great. 